This video explains how to dry grains after harvest by building a low-cost, high-velocity solar grain dryer. Drying grain is important because it reduces the chance for mold growth in the grain, which will increase its storage life, as well as ensuring that it will sell at a higher price. Before building, find a flat area that is not shaded. Clear the area of any debris and flatten the ground as much as possible to make it level. First, you'll construct the chimney. In order to build this, you will need six 200 centimeter long pieces of wood with a thickness of four by four centimeters, 13 120 centimeter long pieces of wood with a thickness of four by four centimeters, one 6.5 meter by two meter sheet of clear plastic, 100 screws or nails, they should be six centimeters long, and 200 tacks or staples. Assemble a horizontal square frame from the shorter pieces of wood using screws or nails. Make sure to offset each piece by four centimeters. Make three of these frames. Position four of the longer pieces of wood vertically so that they form a rectangle. Attach one of the frames you made to this rectangle 60 centimeters from the ground using screws or nails. Attach another frame at the top of the rectangle and the other in the middle of the two frames. Then, loosely attach two of the longer pieces on opposite sides of the chimney as diagonal brace members, starting at the top corner of the rectangle and going down to the bottom opposite corner. Attach one of the shorter lengths to the base of the chimney frame. This will help to support the chimney. With the frame complete, staple or tack the two meter end of the clear plastic sheet to the chimney frame. Wrap the sheet tightly around the frame until it completely covers it and tack it in place. Cut two vertical 25 centimeter slots to create an opening on the bottom on the opposite side from the base support. Next, construct the duct that attaches to the bottom of the chimney. In order to build this, you will need three 120 centimeter long pieces of wood with a thickness of four by four centimeters, five 120 by 25 centimeter wood planks with a thickness of 2.5 centimeters, and 50 screws or nails. They should be six centimeters long. Attach one of the thinner pieces along the edge of one of the wider pieces, insetting the thin piece by eight centimeters. Take these and attach them perpendicular to another wide piece on a diagonal angle of 12 degrees. Make another one of these with opposite orientation. Along the edge of a wide piece, attach a thin piece, insetting the thin piece by four centimeters from the longer end of the board. Attach the diagonal lengths to the horizontal length by screwing the ends of the thin pieces together. Once completed, attach the duct to the base of the chimney where you cut the flap by screwing the duct to the wooden pieces of the chimney. Next, you will construct the solar dryer. In order to do this, you will need one seven meter by four meter sheet of tarpaulin, one six and a half meter by four and a half meter clear plastic sheet, six large rocks about 25 centimeters high, and 40 small rocks. Spread out the tarpaulin in the unshaded place you want the dryer to be used in. Fold the long sides in approximately 35 centimeters. Dig two parallel trenches along each folded edge approximately 15 centimeters deep and 25 centimeters wide. Fold the tarpaulin edges back over the trenches and weigh it down with the small rocks. Then, center the chimney and the duct at one of the short edges of the tarp and place two large rocks over the base support length. Ensure airflow by placing three large rocks on the opposite end of the tarpaulin. 
Then take the clear plastic sheet and spread it out over the rocks and tarpaulin, securing the chimney side with small rocks. Lastly, roll the sheet up. Now your high-velocity solar grain dryer is ready for use. See our animation titled Post-Harvest Loss Solar Grain Dryer Use to learn how to use your grain dryer.